One of the surprise movie hits of the summer in the US has been Sound of Freedom, which has outstripped some big blockbusters at the box office and is now set to arrive in the UK. The film is about a federal agent who tries to save children from a sex trafficking ring and is based on Timothy Ballard, who founded an anti-human trafficking organisation and is a former Department of Homeland Security agent. However, critics of the film say it lacks factual accuracy, while others have even claimed that it has links with the American far-right group QAnon, although these have been denied by the film's director. So let's take a quick look. So you quit your job and you go and rescue those kids. So I thought that we were, it's all rebel territory. So here to discuss this, I'm joined by the musician and podcaster Winston Marshall. Winston, Woo! thanks for joining me. So I want to start by talking about the way in which this film has been politicized in America. Can you give us some background to this? Well, I had the pleasure, it was a weird sort of pleasure, but uh, I saw the film about a month ago in the States and incredibly moving. The entire theater were in tears and at the end of the film stood up, stood up and applauded I've never experienced that in, in a film. And it's the story of Tim Ballard, as you said in the introduction. And, and not many people know this, but there are 50 million slaves today, 27 million of which are in forced labor and sex trafficking, and 35% of which are children. As far as I'm concerned, that is the greatest evil there is today on the face of the planet. I don't think many people would disagree with me. Well, at least I think that they wouldn't disagree with me. But bizarrely, it turns out the media and many people have come after this film. It's utterly shocking. If you see this film, and I implore your viewers and yourself, if you haven't, to go and see this, this film. It really is remarkable. Independent film made on a budget of $14.5 million. It grossed, it's now something like $180 million in the U.S. On July 4th, it beat... Uh, Indiana Jones in the box office. That's ma that is massive. It's mm. really a, co a huge cultural phenomenon. And yet it's getting this backlash. I just can't put myself in the mind of, of, of people who would, who, who would come after the film and, and what it takes to do that. Let me give you an example if I can. Vox.com, I'm going to read this because it's astonishing. Vox.com wrote an article criticizing the film, finishing by writing. Sound of Freedom is ultimately a form of extremist propaganda, and that extremism is at least as dark and dangerous as the very thing Sound of Freedom wants to combat. So the film, which wants to combat sex trafficking of the millions of children, is more dangerous than sex trafficking of the millions of children, according to Vox.com. It doesn't stop with them. It's Rolling Stone. I was very disappointed by a, an article in The Telegraph as well. It's like they're not really engaging w with what this, this film, film is about. And I, I've been thinking about why, why is that? Why, uh, and part of the reason, I think, is, is the wrong people like the film. Trump has endorsed the film. Elon Musk has endorsed the film. Jordan Peterson has endorsed the film. And so they see it in this tribal warfare. They say those people are bad and they can't distinguish that... Not everything that they, just because they disagree with those people doesn't, mean, doesn't write off everything that those people agree with. I, anyway, that's one of a few things. The other possibility is that there are uh, pedophile rings that people are trying to uh, not uh, uh, have revealed. I, I mean, that's where you get into the, into the conspiratorial. But it, one can't help think, but why would you want, not want to promote this film exposing and telling the great story of Tim Ballard, as you said, 12 years of Department of Homeland Security, exposing uh, and, and, uh, and uncovering these pedophile rings, why wouldn't that be a story to celebrate? I, 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 I'm lost for, for words thinking well, about it. Like you say, it sounds very much like political tribalism. Let's not forget the Pope has, has also uh, endorsed the film. So you would have thought that that would count for something. Uh, we are not the Pope. Time, Winston. Oh, Andrew. <laughs> yeah, we are running. It's we are now running, of the Pope support. We, <laughs> we are running out of time. I do want to ask you very quickly about the case of Roisin Murphy. Uh, yeah. this, you, you, you yourself have experienced cancellation within the music industry. Do you have anything, anything to say about what's happened to her? 
Well, it's the story gets more and more ludicrous. She, uh, it, it seems like, although one source says that her label Ninja Tune are no longer, they're not going to drop her, but they're no longer going to uh, promote her album, which is, you know, ab absolutely absurd. And then Rough Trade East in London, uh, she had two gigs booked there at the end of the week, and they, uh, those gigs have been cancelled. Why exactly? It's not clear. Look, these, this is happening now. It, it seems almost daily, but certainly weekly. Last week, it was Alice Cooper who got dropped from Vampire Cosmetics for saying that if a kid identifies as a tree, maybe that's not right. Uh, also last week, Carlos Santana um, had to issue an, or issued an apology for uh, thinking if you're a girl, you're a girl, and you're a boy, you're a boy. Um, it, it, Neo earlier this uh, summer it was the same thing. He's an American R Grammy winning R&B artist. His publicist uh, put out a, 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 an apology. Um, this, you know, there's uh, Howard Donald from Take That. There's, um, I mean, uh, Craig Potter from Elbow. Macy Gray, you'll remember, yep. had to apologize. It's, and all of these are specific for the trans stuff, and I'm forgetting more, but there's many more artists. It's, when it comes yeah. to this specific topic, and others, but the, the trans issue specific, if you dissent, you are punished. And so what happens then is that those of us who realize the evil that's going on and putting the kids on puberty blockers, as Roisin Murphy rightly condemned originally, those, those who are scared of... of uh, professional uh, repercussions end up just keeping their mouth shut.